Welcome to mechanical tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like surface modeling, sheet metal and enclosure design, product design, plastic components design, reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain about how to reduce gap in an angle lip flange. Let's say you can see the folded state of the enclosure and you can see the gap between lip flanges see here these are the angle lip flanges and here is the v-shape gap so how to reduce this so I am going to show you with this example this is the model so when we create a lip groove with an angle other than 90 degrees so it creates a huge gap between two flanges so how to reduce this see in my previous video I've shown you to how to reduce gap between these two edge flanges using close corner see I am going to suppress close corners see here so I am going to show you both the example in this video let's start now see in general practice when we create a edge flange and if there is a gap so usually what we do is either we reduce gap from here reducing the value or if you want high, more precise then we usually use close corners so we have to select this so automatically it selects other a, uh, other face so say ok see here it is closed now see and we can choose other option by overlapping see here it is overlap we can use either ways as per requirement so overlapping so this is for uh, general purpose when we create an edge flange at 90 degrees now I am going to show you how to reduce this gap in angle lip flange with the uh, enclosure so now I am going to create simple enclosure I am going to select the front plane go to sketch select the center point rectangle so these two lines are equal so I'm making it 200 go to sheet metal module select base flange it is 2 mm and k factor is 0.45 so now I am going to create edge flange selecting all four edges so this is 50 press we keep as it is the flange position material inside and say ok now I am going to create one more flange selecting all four edges this is 20 mm
say okay so now i am going to create angle lift flange with 120 degrees so usually it is a 90 so instead of 90 i'm going to make 120 see it is inclined and uh, depth 16.4 and i'm going to select all four edges see there is a rectangular relief so to minimize the gap we have to select the custom relief and here we have to select tier option and say ok here see there is a gap between these two flanges see here and the other side also now i am going to show you how to reduce this gap so like in previous example if I select close corners, see so it is selecting the faces. So if I say OK, it throws an error. Rebuild error cannot find the other bends to close corners. Please make sure it if the side faces of the two bends at the corner are connected. So we can't create this. So to avoid such problem. So we have to do it manually. So what we have to do is we have to go to sketch here and we have to constrain this sketch. So we have to select these two lines. Keep as it is and select this vertical line, remove the vertical constraint and select this point drag little bit right see here and make this as sixty degrees see it is modified similarly And I keep it in isometric. See here. We have to constrain these two lines. So keep as it is. Now select this line, remove the vertical, and select this point and move a little bit. Make it 60. Since it is 120, so we have to. make it 60 see here and say ok see there is a little bit problem so we have to make 59 sorry 61 see that is how we have to m reduce the gap see we can see the difference this is the limitation of the software 
so we have to do it manually by modifying the sketch see here so still we can reduce the gap using by modifying the angle so let's see the flat pattern see here see the normal flange created by software it is exactly vertical see this line is vertical so what we modified is little bit inclined so if you want to measure it so we will go to evaluate and measure this angle see this is the angle 60 degree 60 degrees see here So this is how we resolve these kind of uh, issues in enclosure design. Thanks for watching.